Today we are going to start off like we always do with Where in the World is the Sun Princess. We're going to talk about um, really exciting updates that we have got from different family members who are on Princess cruise ships right now. Also, Holland America has announced an amazing new world cruise, which is really um, an even a uh, um, a step up from what they usually offer on the world cruises. Also the Norwegian Dawn, a lot of news about the Norwegian Dawn and so we need to talk about that as well as lots more. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Monday, it is February 26th of 2024, and I want to remind you that this evening we will be doing our live. We are going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we really look forward to seeing you there. We're going to um, answer your questions, we're gonna talk about cruising, and just have an awful lot of fun together, so make sure that you join us when you can. Now, let's start off with where in the world is the Sun Princess? Believe it or not, she is supposed to sail on her first inaugural cruise the day after tomorrow on February 28th and indeed she is docked there at the cruise port in Rome Civitavecchia and um, I am really excited to see her there I'm sure they're still working on you know all the last minute things before you have guests but I am really excited that she is there and congratulations to all of you who booked that cruise who actually get to go on your inaugural cruise I am really happy for you and I am looking forward to hearing from your and seeing your updates and sharing the experience with you. Gordon and I are still waitlisted. We're waitlisted on that March 19th sailing. I really hope that we get to go, but I don't know. We'll just have to see if anyone has to cancel and we get to have an open slot. But um, I'm really excited for all of you who get to go. So that kind of leads us into the next thing. Um, we have got three people who are on Princess Cruises right now reporting from the ship that they are on. We've got a Let's Go family member who is on the Regal Princess. We've got another one who is on the Crown Princess to Hawaii. Uh, the Regal Princess is out of Galveston, you might recall. And then we have got um, Let's Go family members on the Enchanted Princess round trip from Fort Lauderdale. So this is really exciting. And I want you all to think about this, whether you were the ones on the cruise right now or the ones who are so gracious to share your experience with us. So um, it really means an awful lot to me. Uh, window to my world here, we have a winter storm warning in effect and we're supposed to get 12 to 24 inches of snow in our mountains um, starting this evening. It's cold <laughs> and I'm tired of being cold. But you know what, thanks to those of you who share your experience on the ship, today I feel like I'm on the Enchanted Princess and as well um, on the Regal and the Crown as well just because of what you share. So thank you and this is a big deal not only to me, but to people who um, are never going to get to go on a cruise, people who cruise can't go anymore, people that have got one and they want to know how things are shaping up on the ship they'll be sailing on soon. So it's a big deal. So thank you for taking your time to post this. And um, all of you, whenever you're on a ship, we would love to hear from you. We've got our Facebook group. It's Let's Go Travel Tips. If you haven't joined us, you really should come and join us. But you know what? Facebook is not going to run out of space. We would love to hear. We'd love to see your photos. We'd love to hear how everything is going. So thanks again to all of you who are so gracious to do that. And um, I've got a few updates for you here. So the Regal Princess, um, like I said, um, sailed from Galveston yesterday. Our Let's Go family member said that it was a really fun sail away with a lot of positive energy w between the guests and the crew. And she said that what she loved so far was being transported to instant summer. She lives where it's cold also. And um, suddenly she is where it is sunny skies, warm weather, and the blue ocean. So what more could you ask for. We've got a Let's Go family member, like I mentioned, on the Crown Princess to Hawaii, and she said she is having the time of her life. And you know what? That is no small thing. Uh, the staff is very kind. They have had rough seas for five days now, and no one really seems to care because they're all having such a good time. So that's great news. Then we've got our um, Let's Go family member who is on the Enchanted Princess. I love his wife was mentioned, um, actually recognized in the elevator. So those of you who are over on Facebook, 
um, you know um, we have um, a meal posts very often and someone recognized his wife makes me really really happy and um, what a wonderful time it sounds like they're having now next we have got let's go family members on the enchanted princess they're sailing round trip out of Fort Lauderdale to the Caribbean there and um, I really appreciate we've got our let's go family member he has put up uh, menus and uh, players club information um, the princess prizes that actually has a QR code on it and I held it up and you can scan um, I ended up pulling it up on my laptop so that I could try to scan it with my phone and it worked. So if any of you are wanting to know what princess prizes are being offered right now, uh, join our Facebook group, see that post and do that. Um, it's a lot that is similar to what I've told you before. Um, they got invited to go on the 360 experience. Um, like I said, they put up a bunch of pictures of like the International Cafe. It's a lot of people like to know what they're serving there. So it gives you a good idea of what is being served on the International Cafe on the Enchanted Princess right now. Uh, pictures of the Piazza. It's just absolutely wonderful. If anybody else wants to send me any updates, I also, I would really like to do a series called from the piazza and I think it would be so much fun just as a way of sharing what's going on board on all of the ships so today in the piazza on the enchanted princess it is so beautiful um, it just literally transports you there to sit down listen to the music that they're playing um, enjoy being there with all of the guests on board who are so happy to be there sounds like everything is off to a great start on that cruise as well and here's a really sweet note um, well, our Let's Go family member who is on board, his wife was actually recognized in the elevator. And so if you follow us on Facebook and a picture gets posted of you, someone might recognize you somewhere sometime. But I am really tickled pink that she was recognized and really excited and hope that you have a wonderful cruise. Now let's talk for just a minute. Um, this is a housekeeping item, but I feel like it's important after it came up on Facebook yesterday, a couple of people mentioned when um, someone's gracious enough to refer me as a travel agent that they had sent me an email and not heard back. So I looked back at my email. Sure enough, they had sent it and I had replied. Turns out it had gone to their spam. And um, so if you ever have sent me an email and I haven't replied, just send me another email. I don't mind. To me, like the space on Facebook is endless. The space on my email is endless. I am always I'm happy to hear from any of you, so never hesitate. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you is um, with me, I have a personal phone number. And when you book travel with me, I actually give you that number um, or if, because then you can always get a hold of me. But associated, I am associated with a franchise of Dream Vacations, and there is a phone number for that as well. When you call there, it is supposed to, like you click the number for, for me that has my name, and it's supposed to forward to me, and it doesn't always do that. I don't know why. I think that it, with everything in technology here and there, there are glitches. But And every once in a while, someone else will answer the phone. And usually, they're pretty good at telling me to call you right away, but sometimes not. And so never hesitate to send me another email. I just want you to know that I never overlook anybody intentionally. Never, never, never. So please send me an email again. All righty. Okay, so the Norwegian Dawn, you have probably seen the headlines. It made like the national news, like really big news, even international news, um, because um, she had made a port call in South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa, and as she was on her way to Port Louis in Mauritius, they, um, a lot of passengers came down ill with a gastrointestinal illness that they thought was similar to cholera. And part of the reason they would think it was cholera is not only because of the symptoms, but because they have had some outbreaks of cholera in um, South Africa and, and other African nations in the recent history so they were worried about that. So as they approached that dock to um, dock they said they denied entry they said you cannot dock here because you've got you know so many people sick. Well um, I am really glad to say that this afternoon it has come out that they have done the testing and the people on board that ship do not have cholera. So I think that's really good. I remember learning about cholera a long time ago uh, when I was in um, like grade school. I remember that so I'm really glad to hear that's not what they have and I hope everyone recovers it's um, quickly. It sounds like they they are going to be on their way with no trouble to visit the other ports on their itinerary. So that things are looking up for the Norwegian Dawn. Alrighty, we're also going to talk about the Island Princess. The Island Princess right now is sailing the world cruise. And here is a notice that everyone on board that ship received from the captain and it is dated today, February 26th. Just remember they're a little ahead of us of time here in the United States. 
Um, it says, Dear Princess Guests, I wish to advise you of a navigational warning that was received yesterday. The warning itself is not concerning, but as I have always been open and honest with you, I feel it is my responsibility to d advise you of this navigational warning that was published yesterday. This warning is regarding space debris that will be falling into the ocean, an area that the Island Princess will be crossing on the way to Port Louis in Mauritius. We estimate that we will be in the boundary of the navigational warning on the 26th of February, so tonight from 2115, and they will exit that area tomorrow morning, February 27th at 9.30 a.m. And so they've got the... Um, map but that kind of shows where they will be passing along there and I thought it was really interesting how often do we get a space debris warning when we are on board a cruise ship it would be really fun if they see any space debris coming down um, as you follow the news about that you probably know that that was coming down but um, it'll be fun to see if there are any pictures of that and I look forward to hearing from anyone on the island princess I know we've got some let's go family members on board and I sure appreciate um, one se sending this to me so that we would have that information Hope you're all having a wonderful cruise. Really quickly, before I go any further, I would like to invite you to please subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you with us, and I believe we need to have you with us. Also, if you appreciate my updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend or um, wherever you think it would benefit someone else. So thanks so much. Alrighty, the other thing that I want to make sure that you are aware of is that Holland America has announced a brand new world cruise, and this one I think is one for the record books. I know that we've been following along with the world cruise that Royal Caribbean is doing right now, and that was an amazing world cruise. When they announced that, it was listed as iconic, epic, everything because it goes to all the continents. Well, the um, Holland America is going to take everybody to all seven continents as well. And this um, this world voyage is going to sail round trip from Fort Lauderdale. How cool is that? Round trip from Fort Lauderdale on January 4th of 2026 on the Volendam. So the Volendam is one of Holland America's smaller ships, which I think they probably chose because you can easily navigate in and out of a lot of places that are hard to visit in a larger cruise ship. That's my guess. Anybody can tell me what you think as well in the comments. But I wanted you to know a few things. First of all, I'm going to tell you some of the highlights of this voyage. And then I'm also going to tell you what you need to know if you want to go on that voyage, okay? Because they actually have a little system set up for people that know they want to go and want to get signed up right away. So first of all, um, did I tell you it's a 130 day cruise? They are going to go to 47 ports across 39 different countries. They are going to have um, nine overnight calls and let me tell you those places because I think it's really I think it's really interesting where they choose to overnight. Um, they've got Rio de Janeiro, um, Papiete in Tahiti, Sydney, Australia of course, Bali, Indonesia, Singapore, uh, Mele and the Maldives and both places, two places in Egypt. Um, Safaga for Luxor and Alexandria for Cairo, Egypt, and Lisbon, Portugal. And they also are going to have like late night departures, so five nights. They are going to stay late in the ports that they're in. When they take people to Antarctica, they are going to do that four-day scenic cruising that the cruise ships often do there. And um, it's going to be an amazing voyage. They go as far so south as Antarctica and as far north as Oslo, Norway. That's how far north they're going. But they are really hitting all of the places. So if you think that you want to go on this, um, what you're what you need to do, and like starting today, you can do this today, February 26th. Um, if you've got a travel agent, and I'm happy to help you if you would like, but um, you need to call Holland America or your travel agent and make what they're calling a deposited future cruise request. Once you do that, um, when they actually open this cruise for bookings to the public, you get priority booking. And the Volendam is a small enough ship that if I wanted to go on this world cruise, I would be doing that because it is not one of their biggest ships. It's a smaller one and um, that's, that space I think is going to go quickly. Um, what are you going to get if you book early on that sailing? You will receive up to $2,000 per person of onboard credit 
if you pay in full right off, you get a 3% discount, you get a free Wi-Fi surf package and more. Additional perks also include uh, $500 of, if you book your flights with a flight ease, you get a $500 air credit. And they're also going to give you, after spending all that money, you get round trip transfers from the Fort Lauderdale airport over to the port and back again at the end of the cruise. So I am really excited. I'm really excited about this. Um, it, it always makes me excited as cruise lines open up visiting more places making it more accessible for people um, it's really an interesting way to see the world and I think it's one of the best ways to see the world on a cruise ship so I'm really excited to hearing from all of you in the comments let me know if you would like to go on a world cruise I would like to go on a world cruise I don't know if I'm going to ever be gone from home for 132 days, but we'll have to think of that sometime in the future. But I would like to hear if you would like to go, um, as well as if you're going on the Sun Princess and just all the fun things. Let me know what cruise ship you're going on next. I also have a quick note for you. The other day I did a video letting you know on Saturday about all of the updates to the Princess Cruises app that they just released the update to. And I neglected to realize that my loyalty isn't showing up correctly anymore. I am back to being blue again. And the reason that I'm letting you know this is so that if you're having that same problem too, there are a lot of people that their loyalty is not showing up correctly on the app. But like I mentioned on Saturday, everyone reports that as they receive their medallions, whether when they arrive at the port or if they get shipped to their home, the medallions are correct in the level of loyalty that they show on them. Quick note about that. I also hear of a lot of funny things happening with booking dining reservations. Sometimes people are showing up double in the app. I haven't had that trouble so far with booking our reservations, but I know that there are a lot of people out there booking a lot of reservations. So if yours are showing up a little bit funny, just keep trying is my best advice. I did see where someone said to try it on the computer. If you go into the cruise personalizer, um, they've got a link there kind of like halfway down that main page of the cruise personalizer where you can click to use the web version and see if you can get any better results there. Some It's really hit or miss. I've noticed with trying to use that web version. Um, sometimes it's really effective and sometimes not. But just wanted to let you know you're not the only one having trouble and I'm excited that you get to go on a cruise. Next. So thank you all. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you here again tomorrow and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.